Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. Time for the last Commander deck from Dungeons & Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Uh, this is Dungeons of Death. All right. Let's see if there's anything spicy in this one. Don't think there's going to be too much because there hasn't been in any of the others. So, I'm a pessimist by, by nature. So, anyways. So, uh, this is the little cardboard box that comes inside. It's got the picture of the card, which is... Uh, I don't actually like that. I think I liked it better when they put the actual card on the top because that way it's easier to tell if it's repacked. Um, anyways, you got the little token that you can pop out and use and a little divider card pop out and use as well. Uh, this one's a little bent. That's good. Um, so that, I think that was a cool idea, that little outer box thing with the tokens to pop out of it, but I just uh, don't know that they should not put the actual card on the outside because then somebody can repack the entire thing. A little cardboard filler for air. Here's your life wheel. It's a double sided, so you got the 40 on the other side. And your little blurb about the deck. Um, disappointed that they didn't put the deck list on these. They really should have. Here's your commander roll, and a little blurb about the deck, and then a little blurbs about your commanders. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but I, I would really think they should put deck lists. So in case you decide to modify the deck and then want to return it back to normal, back to its uh, original factory state, it's much easier to do that. What's going on here? Oh, there it is. And some more plastic. Yay. All right. Let's see what we can find here. So we got our first commander, the Sephiris of the Hidden Ways, Fall Mythic, and then Nihilur, Nihilur, Nihilur. All right, our second Fall Mythic. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Nihilur. Okay. Anyways, Minimus Containment, Hamapasher, Ruin Seer, Dungeon Map, uh, Evolving Wilds, Bucknard's Evil Purse. <laughs> Dude, we got a purse. Clay Gollum. Component pouch. He probably has a man bun too. Rodham Unicorn. Don't have a man bun. Swords of Plowshares. That's a great card. One of the best removal cards ever. Yeah, seriously, don't. Don't. If you got a man bun, just let it down. Put it in a ponytail. Chop it off. Something. You look ridiculous. Wall of Omens. Forbidden Alchemy. Uh, Merfolk Looter. Mole Drifter. Murder of Crows. Propaganda. Plague Crafter. Ooh, that's a, that's a rough one. Reassembly Skeleton. Shriek Maw. Unburial Rites, Victimize, Cloud Blazer, D-Spark, Obsessive Stitcher, I love that card, and Necrotic Sliver, Vanish Into Memory, Arcane Signet, Burnished Heart, Commander Sphere, Immovable Rod, uh, Radiant Solar, okay, we're into the rares, aren't we? Yep, okay. Put these aside, okay. Movable Rod, Radiant Solar, Revivify, and Thorough Investigation, uh, Arcane Endeavor, Min Willy Illusionist, Wiley, Wiley Illusionist, <laughs> I'm awake, I swear, Phantom Steed, Rod of Absorption, uh, Grave Endeavor, Wand of Orcus, Extract Brain, Midnight Pathlighter, uh, Cataclysmic Gearhawk for a Mythic from uh, uh, Kaladesh, cool, Eternal Dragon, Karmic Guide, another Mythic, Sun Titan, Nice. Uh, Sunblast Angel, Champion of Wits, Curator of Mysteries, Phantasmal Image, uh, Doom Necromancer, Nec Necromantic Ske Selection, <laughs> Necromantic Selection, I can speak of the Englishes, Ashen Rider for another Mythic, Baleful Strix, good card, I mean, great card, uh, Hostage Taker, not worth a lot, uh, Utter End, Solemn Simulacrum, Choked Estuary, Darkwater Catacombs, Exotic Orchard, Gyre Reach Sanitarium, High Market, very, very offset. There's almost no top border at all in a big old fat black bottom border. Okay, Nimbus Maze, that one looks the same. These are cut from the same sheet. Port Town, Prairie Stream, Sunken Hollow, and that looks like it for the Rares of Mythics. Then we got Felware Stone, good card. Meteor Golem, he's fun. Soul Ring, amazing card. Wayfarer's Bobble with the new art. That's goofy looking art, but a uh, good card. Arcane Sanctum, another one. That's just to this whole deck kind of seems to be a little miscut on the top here. At least a lot of it. Azorius Chantry, another miscut. Command Tower, Demir Aqueduct, Esper Panorama, 
Orzov Ballistica, Termarvik Expanse, Thriving Heath, Thriving Isle, Thriving Moor, Lightning Greaves, good card. And then we go to our basic lands and tokens. Some plains, some islands, the plains, uh, swamps. Then we got our, our super fat commander, our commander that needs to die. Uh, very thick card. The uh, Separus of the Hidden Ways. Then Illusion Champion of Wits, Illusion Skeleton, Illusion Skeleton, Illusion Zombie, Illusion Zombie, Clue Goblin, Clue Treasure, Clue Treasure, Dungeon of the Mad Maid with Lost Mine of Fandalver on the back, Tomb of Annihilation with the Atropole on the back, and then your turns and Popular Magic Formats. All right, so there you go. That is the whole deck. Let me see how many rare mythics we got. So we did get three mythics in here. So we got a total of five mythics in the set. And not bad. Not bad mythics. Uh, one, two, three. Thirty-three rares. So the least amount of rares we've seen of any of the decks from this series. Uh, but I think the most mythics are at least tied for the most. So five mythics, uh, not as many rares as usual. Uh, some good cards though. There is some some fun stuff in this deck that I like. Uh, some some really cool black cards in here. Um, so I kind of like this one. We'll have to see three colors uh, and not green. It makes it a little harder. And you'll notice that the mythics all have like two pips of each color. So. Uh, I'm not sure how well the mana base is going to do in this one without, you're definitely going to need expensive lands, you know, dual lands and fetch lands and stuff like that in here to make it really function with three colors, but I don't know, we'll see, uh, we'll try it out, see what happens, um, looks fairly cool, but, uh, these are much better than like the, the cheap $20 Kaldheim and Zendikar Rising, uh, pre-con commanders. Uh, but I don't know if they're as good as the Strixhaven or the Commander uh, 2020 series decks, which were, were, were kind of knocking out of the park decks. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you think they're okay? Um, they look like they are really they didn't really try as hard as they could have to make a really good, valuable deck. But, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. Let me know what you guys think. Check out the description below. There's a lot of good links to save you money and get you cash back on your purchases. A lot of good sales on Amazon right now. And if you click those links, it helps the channel. Uh, so I really appreciate all that stuff. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Got some, got some useful stuff out of here. And uh, let me know what you think about these in the comments below. And we'll see you next one. Thanks. Bye.